hello friends welcome to this AngularJS tutorial uh, today we are going to learn how we will configure AngularJS in our Eclipse so for that uh, these are the prerequisites for that uh, Eclipse ID eight. second is uh, server any server uh, you want uh, Tomcat weblogic anything is fine uh, third thing uh, your JDK should be installed in your system uh, if you are using 32-bit Eclipse I will prefer JDK 32 only and uh, if you are using 64 then go for 64 bit JDK uh, and the fourth one is uh, any web browser that is Chrome or Mozilla you can use any one so uh, the second step is uh, to create a dynamic web project in Eclipse so uh, I hope you all are installed Eclipse uh, you are ready with server and the JDK my Eclipse is open now so what I'll do I'll create one dynamic web project as I mentioned in the document so see the dynamic web project I'll create so I can give a name uh, let's see angular JS demo and I'll finish now you can see uh, the structure of this AngularJS demo so now what we will do we will add one library which will uh, library folder which will contain the AngularJS library so for that so uh, as mentioned in the document uh, I can download that AngularJS library from this AngularJS org website that is AngularJS website uh, I can download it and keep it in local library lib folder or uh, we can use directly that uh, link of this uh, library file and then we can uh, use it in our HTML file so what we'll do we'll just go to this AngularJS uh, website we'll run this AngularJS website here you can see uh, download AngularJS 1 or try the new Angular 2 uh, we will go for this AngularJS uh, 1 only so the latest version in AngularJS 1 is the 1.5 1. Uh, see you can see this minified and uncompressed or for your development purpose I'll recommend to use uh, this uncompressed version so just click on download once that is downloaded you will get that angular.js uh, file you just copy it and in your project in web content just create new folder name it as lib and paste it I just want to keep it uh, simple so I just pasted my library here I'll create one HTML file inside web content only just I want to keep it simple I'll name it as index.html and I'll create one JS file angular JS. so inside this index.html I'll just uh, change the title here this is just to test uh, whether my tomcat is working fine or not so I'll save this file I'll run my project run on server so do next and you can see my project is added here so I'll finish it my server is up now and you can see this this change angular.js you can run it in uh, your browser also just copy the link and run there so now what I'll do, I'll just uh, create this uh, JS file. I'll just uh, write some code on this one, some Angular code. I'll give the module name as I'll create the controller I'll name it as demo control I'll 
and one my scope variable I'll just create one message scope dot message equal to angular js so my uh, js file is ready and in my index.html what I'll do add both the js file that is one library of angular js and the other which we have created angular demo.js we'll create this as it is inside lib so we'll define lib slash angular.js this is, should be src and angular demo.js this is inside web content so it will not give other path now inside body we will define div and ng controller equal to the controller name which we have given in our js file and here we will print the message welcome so this message will come from the js file and one more thing is pending in html will define ng app the app name which we have given in our js file demo app so all set now we'll run this and see what is the result so we need not to restart the server just will refresh this page and see the message you can copy this and you can run in your chrome so this message is angular js message is coming from the angular de demo.js file so that's all for this tutorial we'll start learning angular js from the next tutorial